Now, I'm delighted to be joined in the SeaTac TV studio by one of the co-authors of the paper which has won the ET and C Paper Award. Amanda Berger, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I wonder, Amanda, if you could tell us, first of all, what your paper's about and, and how, you, how it came about. So our paper is a review paper about how the microbiome affects aquatic health of fish species and other aquatic organisms and really where we see the field needs to go and what we know now. So this paper kind of came about because our research group as well as our collaborators on the paper, we have all been studying the gut microbiome of different fish species, zebrafish and largemouth bass in particular, and in our research trying to understand what is already known about these microbiomes of fish species we found that there's a pretty significant gap in the literature and so we wanted to kind of compile all of this information together for others to have a cohesive resource that they can come to to understand what we know and what we need to know in order to advance the field. And so what sort of information have you brought together? What, what are you talking about in the paper in that sense? Yeah, so um, first we start by identifying what the microbiome is and different techniques that are used to study the microbiome from 16S sequencing to metagenomics and then metatranscriptomics and what questions we're allowed to answer using these methods. And then we take a look at um, two case studies. So we look at how nanoparticles and the Gulf oil spill have affected the microbiome of aquatic species. And then from there, we identify what gaps there are in the current literature and where we see the field needing to go. So kind of moving more towards functional identification of the microbiome and getting past just characterizing what is there. And what sort of application do you see your paper having then? So we think our paper can be used for those that are studying aquatic species and looking at a one health approach of how the fish species might be impacted by different exposures, but additionally how their microbiomes might be impacted and how that works together to affect overall host health. And personally, what does it mean to you being a recipient of this award? Um, I am very thankful to have received this award um, and I want to acknowledge all of my co-authors. It was really a joint and collaborative effect and we're just excited that other people are interested in the microbiome and we really hope that this field kind of grows out of this. Fantastic. Well, Amanda, thank you so much for joining us. Great to hear and many congratulations. Thank you so much. SeaTac TV is brought to you from the SeaTac North America 40th Annual Meeting. Make sure that you watch all the fantastic interviews and reports that we've been gathering here at the Annual Meeting on our YouTube channel.